Kaya 6 and Miss Hatches here. Um, I just thought I would show you um, the next task through some video and photos because um, I think sometimes it really helps when we are working art and drawing things out. Uh, the next task is to create typography which is a styled writing basically that was uh, used a lot in pop art especially in Roy Lichtenstein's um, comic strips with his pows and his whams. Um, so I'm going to show you first of all how we're going to lay the page out and I'm going to do a copy myself to give you an idea of what you could do um, and then I'm going to show you how to add colour and the detail to make each different type of typography which means basically text uh, look different and emphasise what the word means. So, go year six. so this is my typography um, text page or what will be. Um, you can see that I have drawn out some lines in pencil and I have put in my title of typography. Please do spell it right. Um, it always looks a bit awkward if titles aren't spelt correctly. Um, I have created uh, six boxes. No, it doesn't look like it now, but it would want to rub the lines out. And each box is six centimetres by six centimetres. Um, as they go down, there's a two centimetre gap. And as it goes across, there's a four centimetre gap. Um, I've left a bit more room sideways, just in case I want to style the writing outside the box. Um, but I hope this gives you a good a starting point. I will now um, adapt this and em emphasise my title, rub out the lines that I don't need, um, and show you that again before I start doing my typography text. Um, I'm going to try and do six, so different di different style for each box. Hi, you six. So I've just drawn out my title, and I thought I'd just give you a few tips on how to do bubble writing if you're not sure. Um, hopefully, you can see... Um, there are pencil lines inside my black outlines. Now what I have done is in capital letters, um, I have drawn out the title first and then using a black pen, I've gone around it, creating basically a bubble around the letter, um, not forgetting that the bubbles need to be inside some of the letters. Um, but that is how you start off doing bubble writing. Obviously it needs some colour. Um, you can also add in some shade too, which I will show you. Um, but I hope that's helpful for people that didn't know that's how bubble writing is created. So I've just started off by doing a per for pop, um, which is, I'm gonna look very similar to uh, Roy Lichtenstein's pop that he did. Um, there's a picture of it on the PowerPoint that I uploaded for the first lesson. Um, but the, the really, the easiest way to do this really is to think about words that sound like the sound that they are and try and show that in the lettering. Um, it's called onomatopoeia is the technical term. Um, so pop, it sounds like the pop of that noise, but you've also got words like ring or zoom, um, bang. Um, you've then also got animal words, which can be quite fun. So moo or ba, um, ribbit. Um, so when you're doing this, just try and think of the word, the sound of the word and how you can describe the sound in an image. Um, really thinking about the onomatopoeia words because um, they are most effective. A smash as well. Um, uh, pow, or any kind of cartoony words are really effective. Um, so I've just started with Perfa Pop, as you can see I've written it down. Uh, I'm now going to work across and create five others that link to sound words. So um, here is my um, knit, well it's not finished page, but I've just started to develop it. Um, I have got a Perfa Pop in the first box. I've got a Cruffa Crash and I've tried to make the edges of the C look uh, really sharp, but they have crashed into something. Um, I've got the muh for moo. I've put hooves on my muh. I'm gonna make that black and white when I color it in. Uh, I've got the buh for bang, and I've tried to make it look like the, the buh is expanding, like it's about to go bang. Um, I've got surface splat, so I've tried to make like kind of, um, kind of paint, splatty paint. And I've got a woof for woof, um, which is try I tried to make it look a little bit more fluffy, and then I'll probably add some spots on that as well. Um, when you are doing your letters, try and uh, try a different letter um, for each different style. Um, it just makes it more interesting and it will hopefully expand your knowledge um, even further. Right. Here is my finished piece, um, all coloured in. Um, I really like pop art. I don't know if you guys have done as well when you've been doing this work. But it is really cartoony and it's really playful and it's supposed to be fun. Um, so I hope you're having fun creating it. I definitely did. Um, and what I will do now is just show you a few pictures of the details of the letters I have done. Um, if you are worried about getting this wrong, uh, you could copy the work I have done, um, or maybe just a couple, that would be fine. But really try and be independent and be unique and creative 
and try and think of new words, new sound words, new onomatopoeic words that you can create yourself.